Hi guys, I know you can only see half my face, but if I, then the sun's in my eyes, and I tried doing this, but that didn't, and this is where I think that I should do my video, mainly because I guess what I'm talking about, I don't know, um, I want it to be kind of quiet, not that the cars won't be loud, but, um, I had one subject I was going to talk about, so that'll be next Mental Health Monday. Um, this Mental Health Monday, I want to talk about suicide. It's not funny and it's not a joke. And when I tell you guys I tried to commit suicide, it's not because I want pity. It's not because I want you to be like, oh no, I need to know. That was lots of years ago. And I've learned how to deal with my feelings better. Okay? But I do want you to know it's real. No one should ever pretend or joke about it. If someone reaches out to you, feels safe enough to reach out, you should always take them seriously, even if you have a little bit of doubt in your heart. So don't hesitate to call authorities. I have been in three mental institutions. Um, twice because of suicidal thoughts and the third time because I tried. And when I tried, I didn't tell anybody. I didn't make a big deal out of it and I waited till nobody was home. God wanted me still here because the what I chose, the way I tried to kill myself, I tried to cut my wrists. I, am, I have no idea why the knives weren't sharp enough because the sadistic piece of crap that I was with at the time always had sharp knives. Always. That was kind of his thing was knives. Got threatened with one a couple times. So, I can only... Attribute that to God. Because I really did want my life to end. I had gone through a lot of... Some people that are close to me know what I went through. Um, I felt like a complete failure and I felt like people would be better off without me. That's why I did it. It didn't make it okay. But I felt like there was just nothing ever going to get better. And not long before I did, tried, my cousin committed suicide. He didn't tell anybody. He didn't even write a suicide note. He went to a dirt road and he shot himself. Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because I feel like some people think it's okay to play with people's feelings or to try to say they want to commit suicide for attention. That's not okay because it makes it really hard for those of us who really have tried or thought about trying to get help sometimes or for people to take us seriously. It's not funny. It's, it's a very serious thing. I have some people very close to me that two of them I didn't know till years later. Tried to commit suicide. But for whatever reason, like I said, to me it was God's intervention. They woke up that next morning. And then someone who did it, I knew about it. They did it in front of me. One of the saddest days of my life. They did not die. Thank God. They did go to the hospital. They did get some help. But it's not anything to play with or joke about or... And if you are one of those people that are thinking about it or threatening it, don't get mad. Because someone calls the cops because it's because they love you. And don't think it's a joke that they called the cops. They did it because they loved you and they were concerned. So don't play with people's emotions. Um, I 
suicide is something very close to my heart. So I take it very seriously. I don't want no one to feel sorry for me. Um, nobody. I'm proud of who I am. I'm, I can't say I'm proud I tried to commit suicide, but it happened and it's part of my story. And I'm living proof that things, when you feel like the, your whole, and I'm talking, I thought my whole world was over. And I would share details of why I felt that way, but um, the things that happened are not just my story to share. So it's not right for me to share that. But just know as a parent, um, I felt like I was a complete waste and a failure and... Um, yeah, so I am going to put a link or a post or something with the suicide hotline and just know that if you ever want confidential, like somebody to listen to you that you and you want to stay confidential, I've never called that number. I don't know what it entails. Um but they are bound by confidentiality. They cannot, unless they truly believe that you are a danger to yourself. That goes for therapists. The only time therapists can tell what's said in there is if you are threatening someone else's life or they truly believe that you are going to hurt yourself. Hence why I go see my therapist every Friday. I've told y'all I'm not ashamed to go to therapy. Because I'm still here, and maybe partly because I decided to start going. There you go. Um, it's okay to want sympathy from people when you're feeling bad. But don't play with people's sympathy. Don't live off of it. Don't scare people that care. Because then the next time somebody really does need help, they might not want to help them. Because you made them feel like a fool. For you people that care enough to call the police or a doctor or go get them help, bravo. That's the right thing and don't stop doing that. Uh, some of y'all might not like what I had to say tonight. No, I don't. Because you know what? I can stay at 330 subscribers or I can even lose some and that's okay because I'm not going to hide where, how I feel about something that touches very strongly. There are certain things that are very, very dear to my heart. Suicide and mental health. Domestic violence. I've been a victim of domestic violence. I have had, or a survivor of domestic violence, I should say, not a victim. I have friends that are survivors of domestic violence. And I know a few ladies who are victims. They lost their lives because of it. I thought it was going to be quiet. So that is very near and dear to my heart. And then health issues, um, as y'all know, COPD, congestive heart failure, and diabetes are three things that have affected my family, and it's, so it's something that I research, I look into, and when I find out someone suffers from it, I don't, I feel a connection to them. My daddy was a diabetic, he had congestive heart failure, in the end he died from complications from diabetes because his blood sugar was way out of control. My mom and my aunt died from COPD. So that has nothing to do with suicide, but those I want, I just wanted to point out that there are a few things that are very, I don't play and I don't joke about that. And I don't think anybody should ever, um, domestic violence too, don't, don't cry wolf. Because those that really need help don't need other people crying wolf. Because then, so maybe they can't get the help they need. And that's the way it is with suicide. Y'all can comment if you want, if you think I'm being rude. It's okay, you can tell me you think I'm being rude. It's not going to change my opinion. And y'all know that my videos are not just about yarn. 
Now that being said, Mental Health Monday, I got a beautiful surprise today that I will open up in this video, just be a few seconds later, but when I get home and I'm making nachos tonight, y'all, I got some yarn from a yarn angel. That's what I will call her. She does not want her name known. She did it to be sweet. She said it is for my personal use and for my charity. So it will go to good use. I promise you, my yarn angel. You touched my heart. More than you know. And, um, I think I got my sticker from Z, y'all. So I'll open those when I get home. I have had a mentally draining day because I woke up to a video. Not a video. I woke up to a whole lot of people talking about some craziness on YouTube. And because of what I've been through, it hit home really hard. And I'm going to tell you, my yarn angel, I really think even though that yarn, you and I both feel like it should have been here way before it was. Y'all, the snail mail really took forever this time. Um, I think that was God's timing. Because he knew I needed something to make me not so stressed about what I woke up to this morning. And... I feel like it's my opportunity to say what I have to say, which is that about suicide. Don't ever belittle someone for contemplating or even trying to commit suicide. Because you are not in their brain and you are not them. But also don't play with people's feelings and make them think something that's not true. Or get mad because they called the police or some mental health professionals because they thought you were in trouble. Because if someone loves an, me enough to call someone because they think I might hurt myself, then I know that they love me. Um, it's not always easy to make that call. When I tried to kill myself, my um, my caseworker, my mental health caseworker, had the hardest time calling because she knew I was going to go to the state hospital. And in Texas, it's the worst. It's awful. I mean, I don't know what it's like in other states. But it's the worst one you can go to in Texas, from what I understand, and it was awful. And not because I wasn't cared for. It's because you have every degree of mental illness all together. It was a very big wake-up call for me and very scary. But I got the help I needed. I was there a month. Had to be escorted by a sheriff. Never been arrested, but cannot say I've never been in a cop car. He was a very nice man, though. He had just got off a 12-hour shift and cared enough to drive me. So, I'm going to end this because I feel like I've kind of beat that subject to death now in a few seconds there will be my mystery boxes this close up however we get to big mystery boxes of yarn I'm excited and my sticker from Z and uh, I'm still sending out I sent I sent some surprises today and I'm gonna Send them all the way through February and hopefully get them all sent out at least in February. It won't be before Valentine's Day. Oh, and I'm so excited because the hubby and I, because he's off Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Valentine's is on Friday. And since our very first Valentine's date was on a Tuesday, I told you we had tacos, Taco Tuesday. We are going out to eat at Taco Box on t tomorrow instead of on Valentine's Day. So you don't got to celebrate it on that day. We are going to go on Valentine, or we're going to go on Tuesday. We're going to go out to eat tomorrow night. Maybe if there's a good movie playing, we can go see a movie too. You guys say a prayer for me that the weather, because if the weather's bad, I ain't getting out. 
we're supposed to get some yucky weather. So y'all keep your fingers crossed, say a prayer, whichever, whatever y'all do, whatever you believe in, that if we get bad weather, it holds off till Wednesday, okay? So I can go out with my honey, and we can go to a movie even, maybe, if there's a good movie playing. That'd be a nice Valentine's date. See y'all in a little while. Bye.